Hello and welcome to the Brotherhood of Geeks. I'm Brett J. Rasmussen, and I'm here to go ahead and watch the new trailer that has just dropped from Disney, Rhea and the Last Dragon. Um, this is another uh, animated film from the Walt Disney Studios, not Pixar. It's uh, pretty much from the guys who have done the Fro, like who have done Frozen, who did Be the Robinson, so on and so forth. Those guys. Um, so I, I don't know much about this movie and stuff. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this is because I think this trailer gives kind of more. Uh, like explains the story more than I know there was a trailer that came out earlier and it was kind of just like hey there's this movie that exists um so I kind of I'm looking forward to seeing what this is to really know more about what it is and yeah so let's go ahead and see what this is all about alrighty in three two one all right guys remember what we're looking for and don't trust Ooh. anyone. That's right. Hey, Aww. baby. Where are your parents? Hey, uh, who's baby? Oh. No. Jesus. Really? A con baby? <laughs> A con baby? What? What are all these? These are like some crazy people. Impressive. We could use someone like you. Yeah? Let's catch what? you up. My name is Raya. Our lands have been at war for as long as we can remember. Our people okay. never see eye to eye. My daughter, I believe our people can come together again. But someone has to take the first step. Now, in order to restore peace, I like we this must whole, find like, the last Persia, like, dragon. Feel and look I wish to join this fellowship of butt kickery. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we'll have to watch our backs. We're not the only ones looking. Six years of searching. Please let this be it. <gasps> oh, my DC too. Who said that? We really need your help. Ah, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not like the best dragon. Have you ever done like a group project, but there's like that one kid who didn't pitch in as much, but still ended up with the same grade? Uh, we're doomed. <laughs> Great. You and the dragon are coming with me. Hmm. My sword here says we're not. Ooh. Ooh. What do you mean with a whip sword? Yo. Broken. You can't trust anyone. Maybe it's broken because you don't trust anyone. You just have to take the first step. Ah! I just shape changed. Dragons can do that? Look how close my butt is to my head. It's gonna make digestion so much faster. In theaters okay. or ordered on Disney Plus with Premier Access. Oh, uh, okay, okay, all right. So let's let's dig a little bit deeper into this. Let's let's talk about this. Um, first, uh, if my chair has, if I've been looking like going like this, uh, my chair has been giving me problems. So I apologize for that. But anyway, um, so Rhea and the Last Dragon. So uh, Kelly Marie Tran is, I, I believe, playing uh, Raya. I've, I've been saying it wrong. It's Raya. So Raya and Aquafina, who is a very well known, it was becoming or is a known uh, comedian. Uh, she plays apparently the the dragon that they are looking for, that they found, looking for, whatever. Um, I, this movie looks fascinating. Um, I really love the art style. I really like the look of this movie. I really like how. Um, also, the way, like, action scenes have been done. Um, I feel like this is, like, it's, 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 it's different. Because, like, you have Aladdin and you have a character like the genie who is, uh, like, was played by Robin Williams who was more contemporary. Like, he was very much, like, a fish out of water. He didn't fit into the, the, t the, the, the time frame of Aladdin because he was making more contemporary jokes and... It feels like that's what 
the the what the dragon Aquafina's character is is that she's the dragon is kind of like um, another fish out of water, able to make more contemporary jokes and stuff like that, uh, which is fine. I I enjoy Aquafina. I think she, um, I think she's great. I she's definitely funny. Um, so I like that. Um, I really am looking forward to seeing these action scenes in this movie. It looks really good in what I believe the premise of what it looks like. It's, it's a Raya is trying to bring together these different tribes that have been at war for a very long time and she's trying to unite them. Um, but it looks like that. Her, she's like going like her, she, her antagonist is one of the leader of the tribes and um that looks great like this whole like the, just this one-on-one -on -one battle and everything uh i really like that i'm looking forward to just kind of seeing more of that character dynamic between the two of them uh so yeah I mean, there's a lot left to be known about the story of this movie but like regardless uh, I am, this does look really cool, um, and it still has, like, some good, like, it has some kid jokes, and it has that, I really did enjoy the con baby, that was definitely funny, um, they just, the, they're, the characters seem very different to each other, um, and I like that, um, the only gripe I have about this is that it's another Disney Plus premiere access, where, um, unless it's different from when it was. So, Premiere Access, what happened is that I believe, what was it? It was with Mulan, the live action Mulan, where you had to pay an extra $30 on top of your Disney Plus uh, subscription, or it was some price. It was crazy. Um, so, you spent an extra, extra amount of money on top of your Disney Plus subscription. You get to own it, like you, you can watch it whenever you want and whatever. Um, but you still had to pay extra money on top of it. Now, I do remember that Mulan, regardless of in that movie, is not good. I haven't seen it, but from what I've heard, not good. And it still made a ton of money off of that. So um, I'm glad that it's coming out to theaters at the same time. But HBO Max is doing the same thing. But what HBO Max is doing is that all you need is HBO Max, and then you're set. Just get HBO Max, and you can watch Godzilla vs. Kong. You can watch... Um, you know, all the next movies that are coming out, you just, they're there. Where with Disney Plus, it seems like you need, unless it's just, hey, it's coming to Disney Plus. It's called Premiere Access. Da, 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 da. Um, so I hope that it's just, hey, it's on Disney Plus also. But if you have to pay extra money for that, I'm not a fan of it. But regardless, if that's the case, maybe I'll just go ahead and see it in theaters then. But I do look forward to this movie. This movie does look fun. I think that's the biggest thing. This movie looks very, very fun, and I like that. Um, and Disney has been doing a really good job with their, um, like, the Walt Disney Animation Studios. Um, Moana's fantastic. Um, I actually very much enjoy Frozen 2. Um, Frozen 2 is just, it's, the story's okay. Nothing bad, but the music is fantastic. Um you know, Frozen's great. I remember the very first one, which is Meet the Robinsons. That's one of my favorite movies. Um, so there's a lot of things about this, and I, I look forward to seeing what uh, I look forward to seeing this movie. So yeah, I think that's about it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, YouTube.com/slash Brotherhood of Geeks. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, tell everyone you know, all that kind of good stuff. And then uh, press the bell icon. That way, whenever we put up a video, you know we put up a video. You can also follow us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash the Brotherhood of Geeks. You can also follow us on Twitter at DualShocked BOG. That's the name of our PlayStation podcast, DualShocked BOG. And then you can also follow us on Twitch when you stream at twitch.tv slash Brotherhood of Geeks. So yeah, this looks like a really fun movie. I look forward to seeing it. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll see when it comes out. And I believe uh, it comes out in... just want to quickly see when this comes out. Because I believe it comes out in March 5th. There we go. I didn't even say that near the end. So, it comes out in March. So, only a few months away. So, 
I guess we'll be seeing that soon. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Brett J. Rasmussen. And as always, live to play, play together. I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.